So before you get started, make sure that you ground yourself before you uh, open up your PC. You can do this by touching any grounded metal object, such as a water tub. Also make sure that your PC is shut down and that the power switch is turned off at the back of the computer. Unplug all the cables, especially the power cord. So it's really easy to open up your system. Uh, with two simple screws on the back, you can take off your front cover. If you've had your PC a while, it might be a little bit dusty in there. So keep a vacuum cleaner handy if you want to, uh, if you want to clean up the inside of your case. So here's the inside of our system. Your system might not look identical, but it will share a lot of the same components. I'm going to give you a quick rundown of all the major parts of the system uh, so you can identify in your, in your computer which part is which. This is the CPU uh, under this fan. The vertical slots here are for the memory. Uh, you have the hard drive over here. And there's usually an open slot for a graphics card. So this slot right here is called the PCI Express slot and it's used for graphics. Some motherboards have one, two, or even more slots. So first locate your PCI Express graphics slot. There may be some plates on the back of your case that you'll need to remove. Place the card in the slot and push it down to secure it. You may need to also screw in your graphics card. If your graphic card requires an external power connector, please make sure that you have a 6-pin PCI Express connector on your power supply. Uh, you can contact your system manufacturer or your power supply vendor to verify this. Simply plug the power connector into your video card and install the video card the same way as you did before. Now that you've installed your graphics card, replace the back panel on your case. Remember to screw it in. And reconnect all the cables to the back. The first thing you need to do is reconnect your display connector. Uh, this might be in a position if you have a new video card and did not have one before. Reconnect all your peripherals, including your mouse and your keyboard. And lastly, reconnect the power and turn your power supply back on. Simply click through the install process and the drivers will be installed. Click on finish, do one final reboot, and your drivers will be installed.